Everyone knows a student they went to school with who went above and beyond. He or she would always do more than what was asked, and as ridiculous as it was, they always got rewarded for it. The Rockcastle County Rockets were those guys last year, winning seven games, including a home playoff win, and making everyone go, hmm. Now, all eyes are on them in 2015, and they don't want to just go above and beyond. The Rockets want to take off. Our number 10 team is one that has just two seniors on its entire roster. The secret is out. Ask any coach out there and they'll tell you. Rock Castle is the team to watch. The expectations does cause a little bit of pressure. The kids, though, they don't feel it. So we're trying to uh, keep the kids focused on what they're, what they're supposed to be doing, and that's uh, preparing to win ball games. And you, you can't win anything right now. You can't win anything based on last year. You've got to go out there and perform this, this fall. A 7-5 and five season in 2014 carries attention over to 2015. No one expected the Rockets to have that kind of team when head coach Scott Parkey started 10 sophomores. And that means he will have tenacity on both sides of the football this season. The backfield is a, is a strength, yes, and then uh, our defensive secondary. It's a lot of the same guys, but uh, they're so athletic and rangy uh, that uh, it's going to be, we should be quite a bit better in both those spots. 2013 Class 3A runner-up Wayne County moves into Rock's district, and it'll also have to overcome Knox Central, the defending District 6 champs. It's been a lot harder because we're, we're trying to achieve higher goals and higher expectations this year. And for younger guys, I believe they're starting to step up and be leaders too. Honestly, wanting to be district champs this year, that's, a, yeah, that's our first step, and then higher and higher. The prospects for this year are elevated, and Coach Parkey will have help to hopefully meet that potential. Our coaching staff has, staff has changed a little bit. We've actually gotten uh, a couple more coaches, a couple of great coaches, um, and what they've been able to add to what we're already building and what we've already done last year with these guys coming back, uh, it's it's been actually pretty neat because we don't have to go back as much. We can just move forward, and uh, that's one of the things we add new stuff in immediately instead of having to wait three or four weeks. We're powerful up front and in the backfield. It's mostly a team effort. We've got to be good up front and in the backfield. I believe we're going to be pretty smash mouth this year, seeking and destroying. Call last year an overachievement. The Rockets will look to succeed again, and this time you can plan to watch. All right, so again, Rockcastle County in the Mountain Top 10 at number 10 to start the 2015 season. The Rockets are in Class 4A, District 6 with Knox Central, Clay County, Russell County, and then, of course, Wayne County moves up into the district this year. Head coach Scott Parkey gets an extra week of practice. Rock doesn't have a game until next Friday, by week this week, and then it's off to Danville for the Bob Allen Pigskin Classic.